You've probably had at least one toxic person in your life. Maybe it was a parent who left you with deep emotional wounds or a friend who stabbed you in the back. You may have been able to recognize toxic traits in others before, but have you ever considered whether you were toxic? It's important to reflect on how we can do better and become aware of our toxic traits if we have them. Doing so can help us reduce conflict in our lives and ensure that we're not unintentionally hurting those we love. Today's video is a short quiz that will help you recognize your toxic traits so that you can address them and have happier, healthier relationships. First, let's talk about what it means to be toxic. According to Psych Central, someone is toxic when they repeatedly say or do negative things that cause emotional harm to others. There are specific traits that experts believe are toxic. The psychologist Dr. Erin Etoff says that being argumentative, inconsiderate of others' feelings, and judgmental are all examples of toxic traits. Relationship therapist Joral Carabello cites jealousy and resentment as two major signs of toxic behavior. And this quiz will help you find out whether you have these traits. So, Psych2Goers, how toxic are you? For each question, choose the option that best describes you. Keep track of your answers and watch until the end to get your results. Disclaimer, this quiz was created to help you become more self-aware and reflect on how your behavior may be affecting your relationships. It is not meant to be used as a substitute for advice from a medical professional. Question one, you're joking around with your friend and you accidentally say something a little too sarcastic. They are visibly upset and tell you that you've really hurt their feelings. Do you? A. Tell them they shouldn't be so sensitive. You were just joking. B. Say that you didn't mean to hurt their feelings, but refuse to apologize. Or C. Apologize and admit you took the joke too far. Question two, you text your friend and ask them to hang out. They say they'd love to, but they're going on a date with their partner tonight. They suggest that you reschedule for another day. You've already hung out with your friend a few times this week. How do you react? A, you get angry and tell them that they're choosing their partner over you. B, you act like nothing's wrong, but feel jealous of their partner. Or C, you tell them to have a great time on their date. You're happy for them and glad that they are spending quality time with their partner. Question three, how often do you find yourself in drama with others? A, often, it seems to follow you everywhere you go. B, sometimes, if you don't get along with someone, you might intentionally start drama with them. Or C, rarely, you try your best to avoid drama. Question four, looking back at the arguments you've had in your life, how did they usually end? A, none of them were your fault. The people you were arguing with were always in the wrong. So, you never needed to apologize. B. You said you were sorry if you were wrong, but you didn't really mean it. You still hold resentment towards most of the people you disagreed with. C. You understood where the other person was coming from and compromised with them. You apologized if you were in the wrong and accepted other people's apologies if they were genuine. Question 5. How do you feel when you have a disagreement with someone? A. Very excited. You love proving people wrong. B. Somewhat excited. Arguing can be fun from time to time. C. Neutral or uncomfortable because you rather not argue if you don't have to. Question 6. Imagine that you had to give feedback to a coworker or classmate on their work. What would you do? A. Try to find as many mistakes as you can and point them out. Even if they do a good job, you never comment on what they do well because you enjoy being critical. B. Give your honest opinion and don't pay much attention to how your comments might make them feel. Or C. Try your best to give helpful constructive feedback while being considerate to their emotions. Question 7. How do you feel when people tell you about their accomplishments and success? A. You feel threatened. You think about how you measure up to them and whether they're better than you. B. You feel jealous, but admire their hard work. Or C. You feel neutral or happy for them. The result. 
traits. If you chose mostly A's, you have a lot of toxic traits. You may be engaging in toxic behaviors that are affecting the quality of your relationships. Do you remember the toxic traits we listed at the beginning of this video? That's right. According to psychologist Dr. Aaron Etoff, being argumentative, inconsiderate of others' feelings, and judgmental are all toxic traits. If you resonate with any of these, the good news is this doesn't mean you're a bad person. You can be more aware of potentially harmful behaviors moving forward. If you find yourself doing these things, it can help to take a step back and ask yourself, is there any way I can make this situation more positive and beneficial for everyone involved? There's no need to feel discouraged. Self-improvement is a lifelong journey for all of us, no matter what toxic traits we may have. If you chose mostly bees, you have some toxic traits. You could benefit from a little self-reflection, but you're pretty good at keeping your toxicity in check. You might have a hard time admitting you're wrong sometimes, or start arguments even when they're unnecessary, but you don't intentionally hurt others. Let's review some of the warning signs to look out for. In an interview with Healthline, relationship therapist Jorel Carabello pointed out that jealousy and resentment are two indicators that toxic behaviors are affecting your relationships. If you find yourself having these feelings, instead of acting on them, it can help to pause, acknowledge your emotions, and explore why you have them. If you chose mostly C's, you have little to no toxic traits. Congratulations! Your results show that you're a healthy communicator and don't indicate signs of toxic behavior. You're empathetic, non-judgmental, and can take accountability when you've messed up. You've probably done a lot of self-work to get to this point, so give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, and be sure not to let others take advantage of your kindness. Remember that this quiz is just for fun, and your results don't make you a good or bad person. If your results weren't what you expected, look at it as an opportunity to learn more about yourself and what behaviors to look out for moving forward. If you're watching this video, you're probably willing to be better for yourself and those around you, which is something to be proud of. So Psych2Goers, what were your results? Share them in the comments below and find out how others scored. If you want to learn more about this topic, check out our recently posted video on six signs you're becoming a toxic person. Those of you who watched this video appreciated looking inward and recognizing your behaviors that might be causing unnecessary harm or conflict. We're proud to have a community that is so open and willing to self-reflect and learn more about how you can improve. Subscribe and hit the like button if you want to see more content that helps you learn about yourself and others. Thanks for watching. Until next time.